Welcome back to another exciting version of Hamilton's Computer Lifestyles. This is actually our wrap up for the season, so I hope you enjoy the show. If you're just flicking channels now, stop right there because this is the best computer show in Hamilton. There is no doubt that something has to be done to create new ways of creating incomes for people and families. So we have created Futuronomics 2010. New media, new business. Education, e-commerce, and entertainment. A new way to make money, a new way to sell more, and a new way to tell more. Every second, every day, new media is changing the way we live and work. Learn about new media to find out how to transform your knowledge, skills, talents, experience, and time into products and services that can be sold worldwide. You don't need any new media experience. All you need is a computer and an internet connection. We can help with the rest. There are literally thousands of new media possibilities. Futuronomics 2010 New Media New Business explains what new media is, how it works, and how it can work for you. Get your copy today and we'll help you with your new media future tomorrow. Great news! After this video, I started building a new media system for all of us. I am proud to announce Specific Purpose Network Television, or SPN TV for short, a smart digital television network for 2020 and beyond. A new type of search engine where people and business actually get real time, relevant data and information they need in a timely, secure, and profitable manner. A system made for both low-tech and high-tech people based on easy-to-understand websites for digital education, e-commerce, and entertainment. SPN TV has 50 worldwide market sector digital television networks, 20,000 worldwide vertical market channels and 400 horizontal specific purpose applications. We updated Futuronomics to Nownomics, added a blockchain called CyberDollars, a marketplace to buy and sell CyberDollars called the Cyber Bazaar, New Media Star TV to showcase artists and art, a financial technology hub for money stuff, and an international digital television network starting in Canada, the US, and Mexico. All this is made possible with the resources and programs from our partners, Microsoft, Apple, Google, IBM, Cisco, Amazon, and Linux. Wish us luck. Our future depends on it. And allow us to move towards this exciting vision of a machine on every desktop. Our mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. For us, these are absolutely more than just a set of words. Uh, there are many key elements to it. The first piece to me is the focus on both people and institutions that people built. We had absolutely no idea what people were going to do with these things when we started out. Uh, matter of fact, the two people it was designed for was Waz and myself, <laughs> because we couldn't afford to buy a, a computer kit on the market. So we liberated some parts from Hewlett Packard and Atari, 
and uh, worked on a design for about six months and decided that we would uh, build our own computer. So we built one. And uh, once it was up till four in the morning for many moons, and we got it working. We showed some of our friends. Immediately, everybody wanted one. On our collective mission to change the world. At Google, our mission is to make the world's information accessible and useful. I mean, there are many, many opportunities to, to broadly use technology to, to impact the world and to have a successful business. And we try to invest in, in at least in the places where we see a good fit to our company. Going back 23 years, it'll be 23 years of 4th of May since I took charge of this business. At that time, we had 235 employees in all departments of the business throughout the world. And today, we have more than 10,000 people. Now, I mention that because that gives you a little idea of what opportunities men have had in this business. Men who are willing to, to study, to acquire the necessary education. Tom Watson, Jr., talking to his sales school the following year, made some predictions. If the last 25 years may serve as a criterion, then the IBM is predestined to expand in the next 25 years until it surpasses the fondest dreams of us all. The pertinent fact here is that the next 25 years will be for all of us the most productive years of our lives. And what we do will be shaped by what we cause to happen during that time. And that is why I say that ours is a wonderful future, and I urge that all of us do our best. These predictions prove to be more than justified by later growth. It is about a conviction, and I think it's what we all share. It is a conviction that as we look around, we see that the cloud is changing not just IT, but pause. It is changing business and society. We've been talking about it for a long time, and it's happening. We're moving into a world of unbelievable, massive expansiveness. Distributed connectivity across hundreds of billions of dev devices. And through artificial intelligence, through machine learning at scale, we have the ability to extract greater insights from all these connections than we ever have in the past. So we're gonna end off the season, our last few minutes here with a little bit yeah. of a celebration. If uh, I, I've got a special gift and we have some friends here, oh. so let's have some fun. Come on up. Okay. Come on up. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Now, let's sing. Ciao. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. Happy oh, birthday to oh, wow. you. Happy important. birthday, <laughs> dear Thank Ruth. You, and Thank you. Happy birthday Thank you, to you. Thank you, guys.